So you might be in a situation where for some reason MMS messages are just not sending on your iPhone. Now, MMS messages are messages that are just you know multimedia, whatever those type of messages are. The very first reason why they may not be sending is because you're just having bad signal on your device. So what this basically means is on your specific device, you might be experiencing some you know bad you know power, some bad you know signal, some bad whatever. If that ends up being the case, there's a few things you can do. One, make sure you're on Wi-Fi and make sure you have an active SIM card installed on your phone. If you don't have a SIM card on your device or something along those lines, then your phone is not going to be able to send those messages out. So keep that in mind. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do, if you can verify that those things are perfectly fine, you're going to want to go through and essentially make sure your iMessage settings are properly set up. So make your way over to your settings application like this. Go ahead and click on, on messages right there. And then right here under iMessage, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure iMessage is enabled, but also at the very bottom, you're going to see send as SMS. So you can also enable this option as well, because sometimes if you're sending a message and those messages are not sending properly, and this could be another thing you can do to kind of configure and fix this problem as well. So just go ahead and click on send as SMS, and that, as long as you have a cell signal, that might end up fixing a problem for some people as well. Now, if it's still not sending, those MMS messages are still not sending, what you can try doing is restarting your phone. So hold down the buttons that you usually need to to restart your device, just like so. Go ahead and slide the power off, and you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem too. If not, you can also try updating your iPhone. So make your way over to your iPhone settings once more. Click on General. Click on Software Update. Go and try updating your iPhone. And chances are, like I mentioned, this might end up fixing the problem too. Again, not a guarantee. But it's another thing that can probably end up fixing the problem as well. So those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.